Hi, I'm glad you've joined me for this Red Hat RHCSA 7 complete video course. My name is Sander van Vught and I will be your instructor for this course. Oh, and by the way, I'm from the Netherlands and that's why I have a last name that you probably can't pronounce. I have been a Linux instructor since 1994 and Red Hat certified instructor for the last couple of years. I actually teach classes for a living, so I know exactly which topics are difficult for many people and I will do my very best in this course to explain these topics as clearly as I can. Oh, and by the way, the classes I teach are for professionals only. I travel the world to make people RHCSA or RHCE certified in a week or so, but, uh, but I do other Linux distributions as well. I have also written about 55 books, of which most are about Linux related topics. You may like my Red Hat RHCE RHCSA 7 cert guide in particular, which covers all the topics that are dealt with in this video course. The course you are currently watching is developed for people who want to be a Red Hat Certified Systems Administrator. To take full advantage of this course, it helps if you already have some experience with Linux, but it should be doable for people without. At the end of the course, you have gone through all the topics that are on the list of exam objectives. And if you find the time to practice the skills you've acquired in this, in this course, you'll be ready to take the exam. In this course, you'll be watching 26 lessons that are divided over four parts. In the first part, I'll explain basic administration tasks. These are the skills that every Linux administrator should have, such as working with the file system and managing users, groups and permissions. The second part covers daily administration tasks, such as managing processes, software, logging and storage. In the third part, I'll explain some of the more advanced administration tasks, such as managing the kernel and the boot procedure, and in the final part we'll talk about deploying some network services. This part also includes important information about setting up security by explaining SL Linux and setting up a firewall. Now let's talk about the exam as well. The Red Hat Certified Systems Administrator exam is a hands-on exam. That means that you'll use a computer to work on exercises that an actual systems administrator might have to perform on a day-to-day -day basis. This makes it a very fair exam. You either know how to perform a specific task or you don't. It also means that the exam measures real skills and not the ability to reproduce facts that the learner has simply memorized. And at the same time, this approach makes RHCSA a difficult exam. The purpose of this course is to help you prepare for the exam by teaching the topics that are listed as exam objectives. If, however, this is the only preparation you take for the exam, your chances of passing the exam are small. As Red Hat states, the ideal exam candidate has approximately six months of experience working with Linux. This RHCSA complete video course provides you with all the tools you need to prepare for the exam, but it doesn't replace the experience you'll get while practicing the subjects that are discussed in this course. The contents of the exam falls under a non-disclosure agreement. That means that in this course you won't get the exam questions. We'll try to do as good as we can to prepare you for the exam, but we cannot tell you what is going to be on the exam exactly. That is not only because the exam contents falls under an NDA, but also because the exam contents is subject to change. If there are changes to the exam that we are aware of, additional information will be posted on the website for all of my Red Hat certification courses. That is www.rhatcertification.com. You should also have a look at the RHCSA exam objectives as posted by Red Hat. Just use your favorite search engine to look for RHCSA objectives and you'll be di directed to the right page on the web. To help you prepare for the exam in the best possible way, each lesson in this course has an end of lesson exercise. These exercises allow you to get experience working on the complex kind of tasks that you will need to perform on the exam. I have also included an explanation for each of these exercises, so that you will know what you were supposed to be doing in the exercise. We also included quizzes and assessments that help you measure if your knowledge is at the right level to handle the exam assignments correctly. So let's talk about setting up your own environment. To practice your exam skills, you need to set up your own environment. 
that means that you will need to install an environment that runs Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 or a similar Linux distribution such as CentOS or Scientific Linux. Don't use anything else because only CentOS and Scientific Linux are really very similar to Red Hat. In lesson one, you will learn how to set up such an environment. You can do the installation on either a virtual machine or a physical machine. You should also make sure that you have access to the internet from the machine that you're performing the installation on. I have created a server with the name server.rhatcertification.com that provides essential services for some of the exercises. Where needed, you will get specific instructions out on how to get to this server. That's all you need to know before starting the course. So let's not wait any longer and get started. I hope you'll enjoy.